Hi everyone, this is the first lesson for the logs and solving equations. Um, we're down as having five lessons for this, so I suspect that lesson one will be this part, uh, lesson two will be that bit, uh, then lesson three will be probably this bit because it'll be a whole one big lesson on it. And then lesson four will be most of this, and lesson five will be finishing off with, with some exam questions, I guess. So let's have a look. And before we do, actually, do you remember one of the parts that said things like 2 to the power x is 8? So you had to see, all right, then, 8 is 2 cubed. So that then tells you that x is 3. Now that bit there, that is the log. It's the power. That's all it is. It's just the power, but it might be a power to a different base. This 2 is called its base. So we use logs instead of trying to express it as like 2 cubed or something like that. So it might not be 2 to the x is 8. It might be 2 to the x is 9, in which case you've got no idea what the x value is because it won't take an integer value. So, where's my next page? Let's have a look. So, it says about, it says, um, use your calculator. We don't use it very much now. Um, so, it wants you to graph certain graphs. 2 to the x, 3 to the x, and 4 to the x. So, you can graph all those. They're all power graphs. They're all going up. Because they've all got positive powers of x. And they all have an asymptote at at, whoops, at y is 0, and they all cross at 1. So you can graph all of those, and you can see that there. And if you look, can you see the dotted line? That's telling you it's an asymptote. So you need to add these to yours. Ideally, just graph them first so you can see them. And then I've got some ones with minus 1, minus powers. So they're decay graphs, so they go down towards 0. But they also have asymptotes on the x-axis. So if I do that, there we go. So you can graph them and you can see what they look like. Now, these next ones, so you can graph a half to the power of x, I can graph a third to the power of x, and I can graph a quarter to the power of x. If you look, look exactly the same as the ones above. Now we can use some index notation stuff here. So a half is 2 to the power of minus 1, all raised to the power of x. And then I can see it as 2 to the power of minus x. So you can see that they're the same. It's the same with this one for the third. It's 3 to the power of minus 1, all raised to the power of x. So it's 3 to the power of minus x. And the same with the quarter one. 4 to the power of minus 1, oops, all raised to the x. 4 to the minus x. So there's different ways of representing this. So it says, make notes about the relationships between 2 to the x and 2 to the minus x. So for these two here, if you look, 2 to the x and 2 to the minus x, I've replaced x with minus x, so it's a reflection in the y-axis. So just from the stuff that we know already, that's a reflection in the y-axis from the transformation stuff we did. And these are the same. Same. Can you read them? Hang on. All right, it's a bit dodgy. It's first time I've written more than a text. There, let's have a look at this. There. Yeah, reflection, and it's the same. There. Okay, so that's that part done. Oops. Let's have a look at the next page. There's a bit of um, definition in here. So I've got 2 to the x, 3 to the x, occur frequently in the physical world. Uh, Strength of an earthquake, wave propagation, intensity of sound. Now we use log graphs. You'll, you'll use them if you do 
geography, I think you even did it at GCSE if you did geography, when you end up using log graphs to do it, uh, because things jump up by a power of 10, so like a Richter scale. Um, like if it's a, a Richter scale 5 and then a Richter scale 6, say, no idea what that means, uh, it's 10 times as bigger, so the 6 is big, 10 times bigger than the 5. And when they use a log paper to graph it, so what we got then, so it says y equals a to the x, but a to the a to the 1. So that's just going to go up. Let's go across at 1. I'm just going to have an asymptote of y is 0. So really I should put like a dotted line there. Uh, so that, if you kind of like, if x is a, a negative power, it's going down there. Across this blue one. Same idea with the asymptote at y is zero. There. Okay. Uh, what does it say then? So it says exponential functions have the form a to the x all pass through zero one because anything to the power zero is one. There. That anything to the power zero is one. That's what that's saying. So I'll write that down. There. So we've got all the trans. Oh, so far from that. Um, there. So I've got all my transformations. They work exactly the same um, with the with the graphs. It's just an equation. So then I've got an example here at the bottom of your page three that says sketch the graph of y equals three to the x. Um, how much is left in this? I've done a lot of talking on this video, haven't I? So I might stop the video there, actually.